when prisons become like places where you can actually do the prevention of the crime you are being prison for, then that becomes worrisome. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are welcome to What The Happened. If this is your first time here, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share this video. Listen, we all know that prisons are places where people are punished for crimes they commit. However, when prisons become like places where you can actually do the prevention of the crime you are being prison for, then that becomes worrisome. A few days ago, we had a video from, I think, UTV, where an ex-convict shared his experience in the prison. And wallahi, it's something that you and I wouldn't want to ever experience. And I caught this case in the year 2011. And I'm here. Oh, I'm here. 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 I'm so actually, um, you could see that a lot of crimes are committed over there, and this is very, very worrisome, you understand. A place that is supposed to be a place for punishment, though, but uh, to some extent, it's supposed to be a rehab center for people. That actually is a place where they even become worse of human, worse of the crimes which they were, you know, uh, you know, uh, in prison for. So that that becomes very worrisome. But the question here is: Are the officers aware of these crimes? Are the officers, the prison officers, aware of these crimes? Uh, let's take, let's listen to him and see really whether the officers are aware or they are not aware. Maybe they are doing all this crime behind, you know, uh, doors. You understand? So let's 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 listen to him and see. Uh, Ghana prison director, Sanya Mawe Nyinano. Because of the prison, or is iPhone. And then I call for a prison and a different power. So, from what we heard from the video, this, some of these officers are very aware, and they are even those who are facilitating it, you understand? And that is very, very sad. One thing that really broke my heart is that he says that about the, they, they don't serve them good food, you understand? And the food probably, even if they give them food, is not regular, you understand? And when NGOs, people come to donate to the prison, then the prison officers, they hoard these foods, and then instead of giving it to the prisoners for free, they rather sell it to them. I'm on for so bad, but I do not see. So be I, they never will my prisoners for now. No officers for now, G. No more, I'll go good store. No more, turn on, I'll crank, I'll crank my prisoners for now. People who are in the prison and do not have money cannot afford or cannot have these foods. And to some extent, they even sell it at an extremely higher price than how it is sold outside prison. This is worrisome. I think that the law needs to work and take charge and, you know, um, prosecute people of officers who are found guilty. This, the government needs to prosecute officers who are found guilty of this crime. And then again, NGOs need to um, uh, take a little step ahead to ensure that if they are going to do, do donation, they should ensure that these do, the donated staff needs to get to the people in their hands instead of giving it to the officers or the authorities. Another thing I think here is that, um, see, Wallahi, even if it's your enemy, you should never pray for the person to go to prison. Even if it's your enemy, you should never pray for the person to go to prison. And we ourselves also, we should also protect ourselves. Wallahi, if someone slaps you, if someone slaps you, and you are, if you can, which I encourage you to be able, if you can, Wallahi, go away and leave the person. Probably you just hit the person a little bit and it becomes a, a big problem. So I think that we ourselves need to be very careful and protect ourselves from crimes, drug dealing, and any crime that is capable of taking a person to prison, we protect ourselves from it. And that is the easy way that we will live a lively life. See the freedom we are enjoying outside. We go wherever we want, we eat whatever we want. But if you find yourself in this place, it's something that like your life, your everything has virtually come to an end, you understand? So. We need to, you know, I pray that Almighty Allah. So basically, I pray that Almighty Allah protect us and guide us and then help us become better people and save us from, you know, a punishment in this world and the hereafter. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.